Will artificial intelligence have a role to play in 6G? The answer is yes, but it might not be as disruptive as you can sometimes hear people claiming. In this video, I will break it down for you. The fifth generation mobile network technology has been rolled out over the last few years. When we are now are developing 6G, the sixth generation, we should keep in mind that we already have almost 50 years of development behind us, which means that there are already a lot of great engineering insights into how to build mobile networks. Mobile networks are full of algorithms. These are pieces of software that determines how to carry out particular tasks. These tasks might be, for example, to decide which mobile phone to serve at a particular time, at a particular frequency, using what power, what data rate you should allocate, and so on. And an algorithm is typically something that takes inputs, which is data, some measurements, for example, and then the output is a decision on how to carry out the task. Traditional algorithms are made by humans. We make models of the physics behind the data that we use as input the algorithm, and then we try to handcraft algorithms that can come to the right preferred decisions based on that input data. However, AI or artificial intelligence or machine learning, which are names for the same things, are based on learning how to design algorithms in the computer. We are picking an algorithm structure that's very general, and then we let the computer figure out how to fine tune the algorithm in order to come to the right decisions in an efficient way. Since we have 50 years of experience in building algorithms for mobile networks, why would we like to replace that with AI? Well, there are two phenomena that can appear. We might have a model deficiency or an algorithmic deficiency in the past. Model deficiency occurs when it's hard for us as humans to find patterns in the data that is used as input to the algorithm. And when we design our own algorithms, we need to really understand the input data. Otherwise, it's really hard. And user behaviors and behaviors in the application that transfer data over mobile networks, these are particular examples of things that are hard to model. Algorithmic deficiency occurs when we as humans have failed to design algorithms that are both fast and performs well. We can only do one or the other. And here AI can help us. For example, we can start from a fast algorithm that humans have designed and fine tune it with AI to perform much better. And it's also really hard to take the information that we would like to transfer from one place to another and compress it in the best way possible. And here designing what we call codex that focus on the actual semantics that is in the information, the essentials. That is something that AI can also help us to do, particularly when we go into new applications on mobile networks beyond just sending text and videos. AI is a great new tool in the toolbox when we design algorithms for 6G. However, we have been designing algorithms for many decades for doing similar things. We already have many useful tools. So this new AI tool is not going to be groundbreaking. We shouldn't expect too much in terms of performance improvements in every single algorithm. But we can make some improvements and in total it will still be worth it. If you ask ChatGPT, can AI be used to make 6G networks better? The answer is certainly yes. And the use cases are things like network optimization, resource management, predictive analytics. And these are things that we already do in the networks of today, which is just an example of how AI makes existing things better, but is not groundbreaking on its own. I'm particularly excited about three opportunities that AI brings to 6G networks. The first one is hardware acceleration. So in the past, when you design a new algorithm, you have to also design silicon to implement that algorithm. With AI, you can design one piece of silicon that implements any type of newer network, and then you can just load into it what algorithm you want to use for the moment. The second opportunity is to use AI to detect irregularities in the network. And this could both be different kinds of security breaches 
or changes in the patterns that we see in the input data that should trigger that we relearn how to operate certain of the algorithms. And we can do this on the fly. The third opportunity has to do with the trend that telecom operators are buying different parts of the network from different vendors. In the past, they only bought them from one vendor and then that vendor could optimize how the different pieces of hardware fit together. When we can't do that in the future, when you have a multi-vendor network, well then AI enables you to let the different pieces of hardware learn how to operate in the best possible way together Finally, there are also several different risks and challenges related to the use of AI in future networks. The first issue is the technical depth that we are creating by just throwing some AI onto problems that we don't really understand how to solve. And we find a solution, it seems, but it might have some issues in the long run that we don't understand. And when many different components use AI, they start to depend on each other and we can create all kinds of weird effect that is just because we don't understand the networks anymore. Another issue has to do with extrapolation. AI builds on observing certain things in the data, knowing how to behave and they behave similarly when it sees similar things in the future. But when we see some input to our algorithms that had never appeared before, something that is very unusual, we have no idea about how an AI algorithm will behave. This is really dangerous when it comes to, say, self-driving cars, maybe less dangerous in mobile networks that might just have to retransmit some data if it failed. But it's still something that we need to keep track on when we rely more and more on 60 networks. Since AI algorithms builds on collecting data in order to train algorithms, this is also one of the issues that we need to deal with. How can we collect enough data in future mobile networks so we can all the time learn how to fine tune our algorithms based on how the world looks right now? This is why people say that 60 networks will be AI native, meaning that there will be features to collect data in all parts of the network so we can train things. But the overhead in terms of extra signaling between different parts of the network that is created by AI, this is something we need to look out for. What do you think about the role of AI in 60 networks? Please share your insights in the comment field. And if you would like me to talk more about this topic, you can also check out these previous Wireless Future podcast episodes where we talk about AI and wireless communications.